Red and Blue Squad. For those who don't know me, it's your girl Lexi Boo and welcome to my channel. Thank you so, so much for viewing into my video. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed to the family, please join that subscribe button. Just click on your red subscribe button, click on your not post a notification and what else? Oh, follow me on my IG, follow me on my Facebook. I also created a Facebook page. So yeah, it's going to be easy for you to see all my videos and to just like be part of this journey with me and please please give this video a big 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 thumbs up if you liked it and also tell your friends to subscribe tell your other friends tell your mom your brothers you know your father everyone that you want to subscribe and join with you on this channel like who doesn't want to join Lexi Boo? like <laughs> Come on now, who doesn't want to join Madame Lexi Boo? Anyways, guys, um, as you guys can see by the title, it is written, How to Know If You Are in a Toxic Relationship. Now, this is a very serious, serious, serious matter, especially in South Africa. You know that toxic relationships are not good, are not very healthy for you. It's either you're going to hurt, you, you're going to end up being very, very badly hurt, or you're going to get out of the, the, the relationship while it's, um, you could have gotten time to get out, but then you'll find yourself being in a situation whereby it's too late to get out or you'll get out of the relationship with a coffin. So this topic of today is very, very serious and it's a touchy topic because um, I am against this gender-based violence. So this is also part of the how to know if your relationship is toxic. Step one is when you are with your bae, right? Um, you can find out that the connection that you two had from the beginning, like when you start meeting up with your boyfriend or your spouse, you will find out that he is this sweet, loving guy. He's caring, he's overprotective. But when you see that he's no longer like caring, he's no longer overprotective, he's no longer like showing you the love that he should be showing you, then you should know that is part of him cheating on you or him just being with you for the sake of the years that you guys have been together so that is part of a toxic relationship if your boyfriend doesn't care about you anymore if your boyfriend doesn't call you he doesn't text you he doesn't like he's no longer overprotective he doesn't get hurt when people hurt you he doesn't just he never entertains you he never has time for you that is part also of a toxic relationship and then step two is when you notice that he's always on his phone like when you go to him let me say you're going to see him for a few hours and you climb into the car he's on his phone he only greets you he, he like the greet that you guys had before when you get into into his car and you kiss him and you give him a hug he asks you how's life how's your day how's everything and you get in and he's just like hi hi and he's on his phone that shows it's a toxic relationship because the communication is no longer there it also means that the spark is no longer there and he's no longer interested interested um, but he's just like scared to tell you that's the reason why he's not telling you or He's just cheating on you also basically so this um This steps or tips are also part of Have how to know if your boyfriend is cheating on you Versus how to know that you are in a toxic relationship then step three if your spouse or your bae is putting a hand on you oh my god like if your bae your boyfriend can put a hand on you meaning that it can start slow right it can first be a beautiful beautiful romantic sweet you guys can go to camping together you guys do activities together and all of a sudden a year later or two years later he has changed and he now puts your hands his hands on you 
then you should know it's a toxic relationship because I'm very, very against human abuse. I'm very, very against gender bias violence. This is a serious matter if you are living in South Africa. You should know that this is a very, very serious matter. Don't be with your spouse just because you think that now you've been with him for years and now you're going to struggle to be to like all the memories you're going to throw away the years that don't care about that your happiness has to come first if he starts putting a hand on you it shows that he doesn't love you because you as a person you will never hurt what you love never would you hurt something that you love so why would he put a hand on you and the things that you should the things that you should just take note of when he puts his hands on you the first time he'll apologize to you he'll tell you how angry he was and how sorry he is because it's not that type of character if he can tell you that that he's not that type of character his mom didn't raise him like that he never raised his hand on a woman then you should know my sister that's only the start of you you still have the chance to get out that's only the start of you knowing that this guy he's going to continue doing what he's doing because if he can do it the first time if you couldn't control his hand the first time what will make him control his hand the second time when you when you do something wrong or let me just give you an example let me say um you went out right without telling him you went out in the night and you went to clubbing and you didn't respond to his messages that he sent at you. You didn't text him. You forgot because your phone is dead. And the following day you go, you go to his house or you go to meet up with him and he asked you what happened yesterday and you tried to explain that I went out and he'll be like, who did you tell? Who did you tell that you went out? Why did you go out without me giving you a permission? If a guy says those kind of things and he beats you, Honey, there is no way that he's going to stop. Like, he's going to continue beating you and beating you and beating you. It's either you're going to end up being in a coffin, dead, or it's either you're going to end up very, very badly bruised up. So, once he starts slapping you or putting his hand on you, baby girl, pack your bags, leave like nobody's business, and don't ever look back. Okay, don't look back because he doesn't deserve you. He doesn't deserve a girl like you. Stop telling yourself that he will change. When I met him, he was a sweet guy. And now he was just angry and he put his hand on me. Fact is, what gave him the authority and audacity to put his hand on you? Why would he put his hand on you? That is not right. It doesn't matter how angry your spouse can be, but putting your his hand on you is not right. It's a red flag and it's a sign that you should get out of that relationship. It doesn't matter how cute he is. It doesn't matter how much money he gives you. It doesn't matter how the memories you guys have been through. If he can put your hand his hand on you, it shows that the love right there is over. Move on. So step four is when your bae is acting insecure, when he is very, very insecure, meaning like when you're on he when you're on your phone, right? He'll be telling you who are you talking to? Are you sending guys your pictures? Um, when you tell him that let me give you an example when you, he wants to meet up with you and you tell him that you're busy and he'll be like, Who are you with? Where did you go? Are you with other guys? and things like that. When he is insecure, that is toxic. Because why are we in a relationship when you can't trust me? Like, a relationship is based on trust. And if you can't trust me, why are we here? Why are we in this relationship? Like, come on. That's also a toxic relationship. Step five. When your man is... Also, let me say, when your man is cheating on you, right? That is... A red flag right there that is a toxic relationship it means that when a man can cheat on you it means that he doesn't love you he doesn't respect you he doesn't value you right why would you cheat on me right we are in a relationship why would you want to be in a relationship when you know that you're not fully committed why would you be in a relationship if you know that you're not ready to commit why are you in a relationship with me if you know that you're not ready what is it that you go out there to search that I don't have? 
And sometimes it's very, very toxic when you find out that your spouse is cheating. First of all, when you find out that he's cheating, okay, and you come, come, um, what can I say? When you go to him and you ask him about it, and let me say he agrees about it, it's going to be, trust me, baby, you have to leave that relationship because it's going to be very, very hard for you to trust him because what are you going to think every time you, when he goes out of town or when he does things, you're always going to think of, is he cheating on me again? Is he with other girls? What is he doing now? What is he, you understand, like when a guy starts cheating on you, it's best if you move on. Yes, you can forgive him. No one is perfect. Maybe he might not, maybe he might stop because you busted him or maybe he'll continue to do it. But when your spouse is cheating on you, it is very, very toxic because first of all, there's no longer trust, right? You're no longer trusting him because the trust that you had for him, he threw that away. You didn't know what he was doing out there. When he goes out, you always have that negative mind. Like if he goes out, He's with someone, he's parting with someone, he's cheating again. I can't, you understand? You're going to be very, very insecure. You're going to always want to look or check his phone. You're going to end up finding yourself putting trackers in his phone, in his ass and tracking him what which kind of step he does which kind of move where he's where is he now those kind of things so when your man is cheating on you it's very 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 toxic and it's a red flag that means you need to move on stop telling yourself ladies we are going through the most in a relationship because when you are a lady, you want to make sure that your relationship is the best and you want to make sure that you're giving your relationship 100%. You want to make sure that you invest in your relationship. You want to make sure that you 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 make your partner feel that he's the only one, right? And now he's doing all these things. It shows that he doesn't appreciate you. It shows that he's not good enough for you. It shows that he's just not um showing you the love he's not showing you the oh my gosh my camera is dying um he's showing you that he's not appreciating you right and that's a red flag over day like when your man can cheat on you it's 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 not okay and stop telling yourself that everything will be fine that's where we go wrong as human beings as women Every time you tell yourself it's okay, it's going to be okay, it's not going to be okay. Once he puts your um, his hands on you, once he cheats on you, once he does something to hurt you, then that is very, very toxic. That's very, very toxic. Um, step six, we only have up to step seven. Step six is, hmm, this one is very sensitive in a way. But I want you to focus on it. When your man is no longer complimenting you, he doesn't see the effort. He doesn't take his time. Like we as women, we take four hours to get ready. Come on now. The only thing you can say is, baby, you look good today. If he doesn't compliment you anymore, if he doesn't see or appreciate you anymore, that means it's toxic because I always look beautiful for you. I always take care of myself for you, for us. And the only thing you can just say is to appreciate me. Baby, you look nice today. Or let me say we had a good day. Baby, thank you so much. You made my day. This was the most amazing day. Without you, it couldn't have been better. Do you understand? Things like that. So why can't you compliment me? We as women we want to be compli um, complimented on, right? So if he doesn't compliment you anymore... It's toxic, trust me. Because what is he looking out there that is better than me? Why aren't you com um, complimenting me? Why aren't you complimenting how I look? Because I did all this effort for you. And the only thing you can just say is, you look nice. And you're quiet about it? I took four hours. Four hours to get ready for you. For you. And you're not complimenting me. Do you understand? That's a toxic relationship. And the last step is... When your bae is no longer spoiling you, he's no longer being romantic, he's no longer taking care of you like he used to do, like um, step two, right? When he's no longer overprotective or caring. But this one is more like 
when he's no longer taking care of you romantically he doesn't do anything romantic anymore it's just that um boring same routines and stuff he doesn't want to do new things with you he doesn't want to explore with you he doesn't want to take pictures anymore with you he doesn't post you he doesn't take you to his family he doesn't take you to his friends every time he's too busy for you that's very very toxic that's very very toxic it's either he's bored of you or like i said step three he's cheating on you so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for tuning into my video please don't forget to subscribe comment down below if um to tell me which kind of videos that you guys want to see next comment down below if i'm right about these steps too because we teaching each other maybe i miss something comment that too and please don't forget to please 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 guys please subscribe i'm here for you guys please subscribe to my channel please give my channel a big thumbs up my my video a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys on my next lit video oh and don't forget to follow me on ig please and i love you guys so so much peace